common question that I get is, my wisteria won't bloom. There are some things that you can do to help shock your wisteria into blooming. First of all, make sure you're not overfeeding it with too much nitrogen. But if you look here, this is last year's long uh, wispy growth. As you get toward the tip, the buds are very small and tiny. And as you get down here toward the base, the buds are larger. What you want to do is force all the energy into these basal buds. So I'm going to come in and prune this right to one or two buds. In fact, you know, I'm going to prune it to one bud. There is one bud right here. So I'm just going to come in and prune it. And by doing that, all the energy that this wisteria has is going to go into this one bud and it's going to help it bloom. Now, you can do this a couple different ways. You can do this during the winter, cut it all to one bud. That is one way to uh, help your wisteria bloom. But there is another way that you can get your wisteria to bloom. And this is a little more involved. But sometime in September, you're going to come in and you're going to take this long, let's, let's take another one here. You're going to take this long, wispy growth and you're going to cut it to, to six inches. You do that in September. October, you're going to come in and you're going to prune it again. And then November, you're going to prune it to one bud. And what you're doing is forcing all that energy into one bud. So the following year, this will help shock your plant into bloom. So again, you're going to come in and you're going to trim this growth to maybe one bud. And you can see where I've done this in the past. I have pruned them to one bud. Going to come in here just like this. And it will help shock your wisteria into blooming. Now remember, once you get your wisteria to bloom, it will bloom year after year. The key is to get it to start blooming. I'm Mark Viette. Join me next time In the Garden. For more garden tips, go to InTheGardenRadio.com.